guys! It's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. And finally guys, I'll be able to teach you na kung paano i-download yung Google Mobile Services on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Disclaimer lang po, hindi lang sa Huawei Mate 30 Pro to pwedeng gawin. Even sa Huawei Mate 30 nyo, yung non-pro, pwedeng-pwede nyo rin itong gawin. Hindi nyo kailangan ng PC guys para gawin to. And shout out to my friend Peter from Giz Guide kasi isa siya sa mga nagturo sa akin kung paano to gawin. So ano-ano nga ba yung kailangan nyo to do that? Of course, unang-una yung Huawei Mate 30 Pro device nyo. And of course, a USB-C external storage. And since wala akong USB-C external storage, gagamit tayo ng OTG para makonek itong USB na to sa Huawei Mate. 30 Pro. So, I'll be teaching you guys right now on how to install Google Mobile Services on the Huawei Mate 30 or the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So, I have here my flash drive and the USB-C dongle since I don't have the direct USB-C flash drive. First thing that you need to do is download the link that I'll be putting down below. And then after downloading the link, put the file inside your USB. And then after having the file that you just finished downloading, put it inside your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. And then after that, go to the Files app. And then go to the SanDisk USB drive that I inserted. And then go to the Google File folder. And then after that guys, all you have to do is press this and extract the file. And then choose current directory and press OK. Once you finished extracting the files, you will get two folders, the GMS and Huawei. All you have to do is select them both. And then click move. Click other locations. And then go to SanDisk USB drive again. And then click move. Press apply to all. And then click merge. After merging guys, you have to exit and then go to the settings of your phone and then search for the backup and restore. From that guys, click the data backup, press next and press agree and select external storage and click USB storage. After that guys, just click this restore from backup October 19, 2019. And then, of course, select this. And then, unselect browser. And then, click OK. And then, after that, you click Restore. And then, of course, just type the password. Clearly, all you have to do is just copy the password tip and then type it again. And then, click Done. And then, after that, guys, go back to your home. And as you can see, I already have the G app or the G logo here. Let's go to that app. Click activate. Click allow. And then go home again. And then next, guys, go to the files app again. And then, guys, all you have to do is look for the GMS folder. And from the GMS folder, all you have to do, guys, is install everything one by one for example and just press allow and press install click done allow install click done but please do take note do not click open just click done make sure that you downloaded everything first and then once you've installed everything just go home and as you can see guys, I have all the apps like Gmail, Play Store. So to make sure, of course, connect your phone to the internet. Since I am already connected, let's go to Play Store. I need to sign in. Once logged in, I can now finally download the apps that I want. Like for example, Mobile Legends. Just waiting for download. How about YouTube? Oh, looks like I'm downloading it already. Let's wait for it. It's working 100% well. Let's try other apps. While waiting for the download, let me quickly show you as well my Gmail. See, it's working. 
So that is how easy and fast I was able to install Google Mobile Services on my Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Again, you can also do this to your Huawei Mate 30. So ayun guys, ganun lang kadaling i-download yung Google Mobile Services. So all in all, wala kayong dapat ikatakot if ever bibili kayo ng Huawei Mate 30 Pro or the Nan Pro. At isa pa guys, meron naman tayong Huawei App Gallery. I actually already discussed this previously sa past videos ko. And Huawei's very own Huawei App Gallery guys. Most of the apps din naman na ginagamit ko available dito like um, banking apps like BDO, Games, Asphalt 9 nandito guys, even Gcash. Or yung mga shopping apps nyo like Lazada, Shopee, meron ding TikTok guys. So really guys, Huawei is doing their best na makipag-cooperate dito sa mga software developers para mas marami pang apps yung maging available sa Huawei app gallery. Another way guys para magkaroon kayo ng mga apps na ginagamit nyo previously is yung tinatawag na Huawei Phone Clone. So kung Huawei user ka before, pwede nyo i-transfer or i-migrate yung mga apps nyo sa bago nyong device na Huawei Mate 30 or Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Pero guys, kung hindi man, pwede nyo naman gamitin yung Huawei App Gallery. Napakadali lang gamitin and it works the same katulad ng kahit na anong app store. Pro tip lang guys, kung wala naman yung app na gusto nyo sa Huawei App Gallery, pwede kayong mag click doon sa wishlist button. Tapos, pwede nyo nang isend yung request nyo. Another way, guys, is pwede nyo rin namang i-download yung mga apps na gusto nyo sa third-party APK websites sa Huawei browser. So, ayan lang, guys. That is it for today's video. Sana nagustuhan nyo yung quick tutorial ko on how I was able to download Google Mobile Services. Again, it's your tag girl, Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!